Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here thank you for joining me for today's video today's video is going to be another auction finds video really really excited about this one i have a bunch of high-end makeup here that i did buy at auction for significantly reduced prices and I have a lot of good things in here. First of all, I just wanna address the fact that I'm in my dressing gown. I am sort of dressed underneath the dressing gown and I was gonna get changed and choose an outfit for this video and stuff, but I'm just cold today. I just feel really cold and I wanna be wrapped up warm. I didn't wanna take my dressing gown off, so I'm still wearing it for the video. Also, I have very, very orange hands because I went and had a spray tan yesterday in one of those machines. It was like a booth that you go in and it tells you the directions, but it's not an actual person doing it. It's a, it's like a machine that sprays you. And the lady did say to me, she was like, you need to keep your hands out of the way. But halfway through when it was spray tanning me, I like panicked about my hands and moved them around a bit. And I've basically ended up getting really, really tanned thumbs. The rest of my hands, like they're kind of okay, but the thumbs are very, very brown. So we'll just hide them. And let's get into unboxing everything that I picked up from the auction house. So the auction company that I use is called John Pie Auctions. I'll leave them linked down below. They have loads and loads of things on their website. I've done a few videos on them already. One was a furniture video and another one was a huge hamper of beauty products that I bought. So I'll leave those videos linked down below as well. Um, but basically you go on their website, they have a different categories. They've got like makeup, furniture, home goods, home appliances, basically everything that you can think of, they do sell on there, but it varies. So these bits are really good. I do check the website probably every single week just to try and find the good pieces. So really you need to be kind of doing that in order to find the good bits. This makeup that I've bought is actually from three separate lots. And in each lot, there was an item in there that there was a photo of that I really wanted. That's why I bid on each of these lots. But the only thing is they take a few photos. They don't always take photos of everything. And also they don't tell you what colors things are, what shades. So it is definitely a risk. And you really need to have a good eye to kind of look, zoom in and try and work out whether it is actually things that you want or not. I've been really lucky with this one. I couldn't help myself, not really unboxed it and checked everything. I'm gonna start by telling you what I paid. So I paid £108.90 and that was for my three separate lots plus the shipping costs and also the VAT charge you get and you also get an auction charge which is a percentage of the hammer price that it sells for. Um, so yeah, all of that together was £108.90. And I have added up the contents of this box and the retail price of everything is £364.95p, which that's pretty good. So I basically paid a third of the cost for all of these products. And a lot of them are things I actually want. So the first thing I have in this box is this Il Maquillage foundation i'm holding it upside down it's because the number was the right way up um i actually have never tried this before but this is so highly advertised i see it all the time and i had been considering buying it uh but yeah i never did and when i saw it in one of the lots i thought do you know what i actually want to use that and it was mixed in with some other stuff that i actually wanted so it made me want to bid on it even more when you go on il maquillage's website they do this like foundation test so you answer loads of questions and then it tells you what foundation color and which type like whether it should be matte or like satin or whatever different types of foundation it tells you what would suit you the most and can you believe it? I did not know what colour this was um, when it was in the lot. There was a photo of it like this, but I couldn't really see like what, what colour this was. Anyway, it's the shade woke up like this. And this is the exact shade that Il Maquillage actually recommended that I buy. So I actually got the exact foundation that they recommend, which is woke up like this flawless base foundation. When I answered the questions on there though, I did say about wearing fake tan or I said something like I'll be darker than usual. So this is really good because this color is actually darker than my usual color because I am fake tanned. And I'm actually wearing it now because the video that I did before this one was trialing out my wedding makeup, um, which is why I look probably more makeup than usual. Um, and yeah, this arrived just in time. So I gave it a go. I'm wearing it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use it for my wedding makeup though. The color is 
exactly right. They they get that right. They do know exactly what colour you need. Uh, but the only trouble is it's very dry. I don't know if it was my skin or the foundation, but it was quite dry and cakey. But I've had it on now for three hours and it's definitely looking better. It's kind of like sinking into my skin. So I'll, I'll give this one a go. I'll play around with it with different like primers and stuff. But yeah, that was very exciting because it's actually my colour and it was something that I was thinking about buying anyway. Next up are these Tarty Lashes, which I had in my basket online on their website anyway. Uh, so yeah, when I saw these in one of the lots, it did make me want to bid on it. Uh, these are the Tarty Lash Individual Tray Chic Lashes, but these are the cluster lashes that you apply underneath your natural lashes, which is what I use all the time now. So you just brush a glue on like mascara, and then you stick these like underneath and press them on and pinch them together. And they last you about a week. I really love them. And I'd been looking into getting this brand's version of them. The only thing is the box is very, very battered. And I have noticed that half of the lashes in there are a little bit squashed. So a little section down here is probably unusable. They might pop back into shape, but yeah, um, very happy with them. Okay, so next up, I have these three Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. They are all brand new, I have checked. They're in the shade Fair, which I didn't know what shade they were gonna be, and I just thought, please be a light shade. Fair is very, very light. I would have liked the light ones, but at least fair is something that I can actually use. I'll definitely use these like more in the winter um, or maybe even for like brightening up under the eye or something. But these are amazing. They're 27 pounds each retail and I have three of them brand new. And I know that if I wanna sell these, I think I'm gonna sell some of this on my Vinted. I'm not gonna sell all of it because a lot of it I did actually buy because I wanted it. Um, but I'm hoping that I can sell enough to make back at least my 108 pounds that I spent so that basically all the makeup that I've got is free. Perfect. So yeah, these are three concealers and they are just absolutely unused and in perfect condition. And yeah, I'm just so, so happy with them because this is a, a concealer that I would definitely buy myself anyway. These were the item that came with the Ma Il Maquillage foundation as well. So this was a really nice lot. I can't remember what else was in this one. Um, I've just put everything together, so I can't really remember what was in each separate lot, but I don't really feel like that matters too much because if you want to go on there and buy anything, you might end up bidding on several lots anyway because you actually get a little bit of a deal on your shipping. For your first lot, you pay £10, and then for every extra lot, this is in the makeup section, you only pay a pound for each thing added to it, for each lot added to it, so it's kind of worth it if you do want to buy a few different things. Next up, I have this lipstick from MAC. This is the MAC Retro Matte Lipstick in shade Runway Hit 703. This is definitely one of the items that I will be selling because it's just not a colour that I would ever wear. But we can see that it is absolutely brand new, just not even touched. I don't know whether these items get returned or whether they're like got slight faults to them. I don't really understand how they end up in auction, or whether it's just people selling random selection stuff, because when the lots are put together, they're so random. It's not like it's one brand puts all of their stuff together. It is literally all different types of makeup. So I don't know if the, they are returns that come from companies like Colt Beauty, Beauty Bay, places like that that stock loads of different brands. It could be that. If anybody knows the correct answer as to how these items end up in auction houses, uh, please let me know. Okay, um, I'm gonna talk about my two absolute favorite items next. And they were in two separate lots and these are what made me wanna bid on the lot. So first up, it is this Victoria Beckham Satin Cajol Liner. This liner I have wanted for so long but it's very expensive. I think it's £24 for a liner is a lot, but then you can only buy it on the Victoria Beckham website. And then to get it delivered to the Isle of Wight, which is where I live, it was like another £10 or something. I don't know, but it was adding up to a lot of money and I just couldn't really justify it just for a liner. But yeah, I saw that there was a liner in one of the lots and it was just a photo like this. It did not tell me what color it was. And the only color that I wanted was the cocoa one because I've seen ads 
all over Instagram for and it looks so good. So that was the colour that I wanted but she has about 12 different colours so I was just like do you know what I'll just bid on it and then at least if it's not the right colour I can at least try it out and see whether I like the quality of it or not. Anyway got it. This is why I had to open the box before this video to see what colour this was. And it is in shade Coco. Can you believe it? It's literally in the shade that I actually wanted. I could not be happier about this. And I can confirm it is the best liner that I've ever used. Um, it's double-ended, so you get a little sponge on one end. And then on the other end, you do have the liner. Oh my God, have I squashed it? Just a little bit. Whoops. And then I think this bit comes off, there is a, I'm sure like there was a sharpener or something on it. I'm sure someone said there was a sharpener or something. I don't know. I'm going to just like try and show you this. It is the smoothest eyeliner I have ever used. The colour is beautiful. And then like smudges out really, really nicely. So if you do it while it's still a bit wet, it smudges out really nice. So you can get a nice deep line and then you can actually blend this out, which is so good because I love to do this with my liners. Or you can just leave it and it sets into place. But you have like about a minute to play with it and then it just sets. So as you can see, I've just blended that out there. So you can even make it into like a really nice deep brown eyeshadow. But yeah, I'm so, so happy that that one was in the box. Um, and then I also have another product from Victoria Beckham again just so so happy with this i didn't know the shade of it i thought i would just bid because the victoria beckham stuff is worth quite a lot of money this palette alone i think it's about 56 pounds so yeah the fact that it was just in one of the lots i thought it would be worth bidding on and then i can always sell it but i won the lot and i'm definitely keeping this look at this packaging if you haven't tried the victoria beckham range you even just to hold it this is the most luxurious eyeshadow palette i've ever ever held it's so heavy uh really lovely quality and then inside you have a little mirror and then these are the eyeshadow colors which i'm so so happy with this is the exact one that i would have chosen if i was going to buy it this is in the shade range signature and you have the shades cami slip saddle and suede in here now this looks used because I've used it, but when I got it, it was brand new. I did just try it out to stay for my, for my wedding makeup and it's what I've got on my eyes. And yeah, I do have a shimmer over the top as well, but so good. And the colours blend together beautifully. I also love the way it's a little bit different. So there's no like pans. They all just kind of like join together. It's really, really cool concept. It's so diddy as well. I love it. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely, definitely using this for my wedding makeup. If you don't normally watch my videos, I'm getting married the end of August and we are going to the Grand Canyon to get married. So excited. Um, and it's just very expensive to have a makeup artist out there. So I'm going to be doing my own wedding makeup. So I've just been kind of practicing it and stuff. So I did that video earlier today. And um, yeah, this is coming with me to the Grand Canyon. Okay, next up, I have this little one here from Medic 8. This is the Advanced Night Restore optimized for use with vitamin a um this is probably something that i'll sell because i normally use a retinol at night anyway so i probably wouldn't use this but it says it's a rejuvenating multi-ceramide night cream i've never used anything from medicate before but i believe it is quite a luxury high-end advanced brand of skincare so i think i should be able to sell this for a decent amount of money it is only the mini one though it's only 12.5 mil but i did have a look online and i think just for this size it's worth 19 pounds so yeah i think i should be able to at least sell that for like a tenner or something i'll show you inside the pot so you can see that it's brand new as you can see in there it is completely brand new oh it smells nice Okay, next, this one's a little bit of a boring one, actually. I wasn't very excited when I saw this one. It is the Avon Mascara, the Ultra Volume Mascara. To be honest, I never use anything from Avon. Every time I've used something from Avon, I've just never really liked it that much. Although, the brush on this does look quite nice. I do quite like the look of it. I might, I might just use it, because this one, I think the retail for this is six or eight pounds or something. So I don't know whether it's just more worth keeping hold of it and giving it a go than selling it next up i have this palette from revolution i think this one is 
only worth about six pounds. And funnily enough, the way that they titled the lot that this was in, they actually put this as like the main item. So anyone could have easily scrolled past this one because people would have just thought, well, I can just buy that from the shop for six pounds. So it'd probably work out cheaper than buying it at auction. So I don't know why they put this as like the main title item. Normally when they do that, they, they find the most sort of expensive or sought after item and put that as like the title but yeah this was the title and i'm so glad i clicked on it because even though i wasn't interested in this product it came with i think this is the one that came with the nars bobby brown loads more high-end brands um so yeah definitely worth if you've got time on the website just to have a real good look through like sieve through everything this is beautiful though it is the rose gold glow palette highlighter and illuminator duo um, but yeah, I definitely probably wouldn't use this one. I don't know, it's, it's quite nice. I like the, the colours, but yeah, I've got loads of different highlighters. Um, but it comes with a nice mirror. And like I said, it's worth about £6. Okay, next up was an exciting item to find. And it is from NARS. I think this retails for £31, I think it is. It is the Laguna Bronzer, but it is the cream one. And I was going to sell this. But I'm actually really, really tempted to try it out just because I love a cream bronzer these days. Look at the packaging as well, it's beautiful. And the colour of this looks so nice. And as you can see, it is brand new. It's a full size one. And yeah, I'm just very, very tempted to actually use this one myself just because it looks exactly like something I would go for. But I mean, I could definitely sell that one um, and make a bit of money from it. Uh, next up is from Bobby Brown. So this item didn't come in any outer packaging. This is the only one that hasn't come in any outer packaging that I would have expected to be in packaging. So I am going to sell this one still because when you look at it inside, it is totally unused. But just the fact that it doesn't have a box with it. I can't open it. Oh yeah, I remember now I did have a look at this one. Um, and also it's slightly kind of a little bit sort of smudged on the shimmer brick there it's not that much it's not like it's been used it's more so that it's been knocked and perhaps somebody's returned it for this particular reason uh just because one of the colors yeah but i mean you can kind of see that it hasn't been used there's no like fingerprints in it and i do believe these are worth i think it's 30 something pretty sure there, there's quite a good value with this one and then last up, I have this whole set from Benefit. So this includes the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, the Precisely My Brow Pencil and the Gimme Brow. And they are all full size apart from the brow pencil, which is mini um, and it's in shade two. So, I mean, I'm not going to keep this anyway because I don't really use these for my brows, but also it's not the right shade for me. So I'm going to just sell the whole thing together. I think this was worth... I feel like it was worth something about £27, something like that. I haven't actually checked to see if everything's in here. I hope it is. So everything is in here and it looks completely unused, which is amazing. Uh, so I'll definitely be reselling this one. And I do think because these brow kits are just so popular, I think I'll be able to sell that one and make a little bit of money. So even with the bits I'm going to keep and the bits I'm going to sell, I just feel like I could probably make back my money this the mac lipstick the bobby brown the medic 8 cream i could even sell i might keep like one of these and sell the other two yeah i feel like i could probably make back the money that i spent hopefully fingers crossed but that is everything that i picked up from the auction for this video i'm definitely going to do more of these videos so if you like this sort of thing and you're not already subscribed then definitely consider subscribing my analytics on my channel tell me that a lot of people watch my videos who aren't actually subscribed so if you are watching and you're not subscribed and you do enjoy my videos then please please subscribe because that really just helps out my channel and also if you can give the videos a like that also helps the channel out it just makes youtube know that people want to see my content and so if somebody likes it it will then show the video to even more people which you know I make videos because I love it but also I do want people to watch them I'm not gonna lie I do want people to watch my videos so if you 
enjoy then definitely consider subscribing but i really hope you guys are okay i hope you enjoyed today's video i will leave john pie's information linked down below in case you do want to look for yourselves but just always remember when you're bidding at auction there will be a vat charge and there will be an auction charge for buying at auction which is like a percentage of the cost of whatever the hammer price goes for I think that makes sense and there'll be a delivery charge or you can do a collection if you're nearby uh, but yeah just remember all of those things if you are going to have a look online at auctions but it's very very fun and you can as i've just shown you find some amazing things if you've got the time to sieve through anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you're very well and i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye also i'll try and get dressed for the next video <laughs>